Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. So, you were talking about doing some remodeling work. Uh -huh. I, I gotta tell you that we, we've been looking at doing some remodeling of our house, actually more of a more of a uh, looking to see about our possibilities of uh, building an addition onto our house in the back and put potentially up above. God, in DC, I bet this is a fortune. Oh, it's probably going to be super expensive, but we don't know yet for one <laughs> what we're really allowed to do. Right. I remember you saying that like they had to lie. It was like some special fuckery where you had to have a, you had to pay a certain amount for someone to tell you what zone or something oh yeah yeah so i did i couldn't remember if i talked about this like last week so did we talk about this in the video no i think we just talked about it okay so i guess i'll, I'll catch everybody else up because there's more new information now so yeah say the way that things work in dc is not only do you have to find out like what the hell you can do in your zone but then there's all these um you have to get architects to submit plans before you can like get any permits for anything and to get architects to draw your plans it's you know between ten and twenty thousand dollars to not even know how much it's going to cost to do something and that's just to submit plans to get permits to know like if you can do all this stuff it's a really crazy off the wall like difficult to traverse system so i put out there on thumbtack what's a, thumbtack so so thumbtack is kind of like um um, God, what was the one for the manufacturing site? It's basically where people can, you can kind of put anything that you want to do on Thumbtack and it'll send it to all these people who post themselves on Thumbtack as people who supply these services and they'll come back with you at quotes and you can choose people from, you know, Thumbtack quotes on who you want to like go on. Like it's really popular for people want a resume written to post on Thumbtack that they need a resume. Wait, you, you can have other people write your resume? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's, like, resume writers out there is a huge thing for people to have because, you know, it's people aren't good at writing their own resumes. I'm not going to write my own resume. Actually, the first thing I put on Thumbtack was to see how much it would cost for somebody to write a resume for me. And, like, it looks like it's relatively decent. Like, one guy was, like, 125 bucks, and uh, he had lifetime, like, updates. So if you ever change jobs or do anything like that, you could let him know, and he would for you that's so crazy that's to me i don't know why that's crazy to me i don't know i just feel like that's like such a personal thing i feel like it'd be like someone like hiring someone to write your obituary uh they probably write it better than me the thing with resumes is it, it is a personal thing but they, they'll they're supposed to sit down with you and tell you like go through you tell them about your job and they basically put it into more of terms that they know that employers are looking for like, I have a resume. My resume, on paper, I have, like, so much ridiculous experience. But I will tell you, my resume is probably not up to stuff because it's not gotten that good luck with getting me jobs at, like, new places. And I think it's just because it's not written well. Huh. Like, I don't describe myself and the tasks that I've done in a way that... You don't really write down Jay Sano superhero? I mean, I do, but, <laughs> like, it doesn't seem to help. Like, can can smell dehydration a mile away. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm missing out there. But yeah, there's so there's people that do stuff like that. So I put out there looking for like, because I want to get a quote on what is it going to cost for like an architect to design some stuff for the house. And of course, I got some quotes from actual architects who are like, oh, we've done work in this area. It's going to be $25,000. <laughs> and I've also had other people are like, for 250 bucks, we'll start the process and get like preliminary stuff done and then see how we want to move forward or whatnot. Do you so think that's kind of like the whole, like, if you want to have a job in this acting agency, come by, we're having a free thing. And then you get there and they're like, it's $300 for a headshot and it's $400 mm. for a, like that I mean, sort of thing. It, it might be because when I, I got like eight responses back within like a couple hours from all these different companies and a couple of them, um, but they were very like, give us a call and we'll talk more about this. And I called a couple of them and they were like, well, the first thing we have to do is go find out like all oh, the zoning requirements and blah, blah, blah. And we charge $175 an hour. Ooh. But they wouldn't say how long it was going to take to do. And if they have to go to their our DCRA down here, it's going to take many, many, many hours. So I'm like, well, fuck this. Like, but one guy basically said, starting the process, finding out the stuff about your zone and what you can build, and it's just a flat fee of $250, which is a lot of money, but 
when I don't know how to traverse this system to know any of this stuff, I was like, okay, let me think about this and like see if it's if it's worth it to do. And you gotta understand in DC, there's all these ridiculous like zoning requirements, all these ridiculous things that you can can and can't do legally. But then you, you look at a, the zone that I'm in. And you look at the houses around us, and multiple people are completely outside of the variance for, like, what you can do. So when I talked to the guy on the phone, I was like, look, I said, I know, I've done a lot of research and looked up a lot of the, like, what we can and can't do in our zone. And I said, and I'm really lost because there's a house that's in our zone one block away that obviously does not meet the zoning requirements, but they have permitted work that was able to be done. So there's this other house over here that has this permanent work that was it, like able to be done. I need to understand what we can do with our house, not just what can be done in this zone. And he was like, no, 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 I assure you, we specifically look up your house and start to go through all the work and look at what you can do in your house that wouldn't like require variances and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I kept pushing this guy because I said, I said, look, I said, I have most of this information on my own. I said, if you are telling me that you're going to look at my particular house to know what we actually can do, because I can't really figure out what we can do based on what it says we're allowed to do versus what other people in our neighborhood have obviously done. What they've done is way outside of the scope and it's what we want, but it, according to the, like, the regulations, you can't do it. So I said, that's where I'm really lost. He's like, no, no, no. Like I said, it's all about your house. We do all this legwork and go up and talk to these zoning people about your specific property, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, you know what? Go for it. And I ended the phone call with literally saying, look, I understand that in my zone, I'm an RF1 zone. I understand that I have a 35 foot restriction on what I can build up. I understand that I have a 20 foot setback on what I can put back to my house. If you come back to me with this information that I'm giving you, I'm going to be really upset about spending this $250. That's like, where we left off last week. Well, that's what you told me, not not the so, people. But. So, this, so that's what I told him. He's like, oh, no, 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 of course, you know, blah, blah, blah. I shit you not, on Friday, he sends me an email that has a PDF that has all the fucking numbers that I told him. <laughs> And I bill. looked at it, <laughs> and I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" And I was so livid, except for the uh, the one thing it didn't it, like it had its PDF attached with like the, all the same numbers that I could find online, and, and most of the numbers I had already quoted to him saying, "I know this, I know this, I know this. These are not the things that I want you to come back and tell me because that's what the zone allows. That stuff I can find on my own. I don't need you to do that for me. I need to know what we can do at our house." And uh, except in the email, it made some comment about how you you can only build 10 feet back from your house. Like you, you'd only be allowed to have an addition that was 10 foot long. That's and so, big. so, well, and I was just like, okay, I'm so livid about this whole thing right now. Anyway, I'm not even going to bother to to talk to this guy right now. But he called me on Monday and he was like, hey, so we sent you this stuff on uh on, on friday did you get it and i was like yeah i got it and he was <laughs> like oh yeah so uh so what what do you think and i was like look i'm gonna tell you right now that that was the exact information i told you i did not want you to give me <laughs> that's the information that i already had i'm really frustrated with you because you know i specifically told you most of those numbers that you gave me i didn't just tell you that i had this information i told you the <laughs> numbers and he was like well but like what are you what are you talking about like but th this is all the specifics on your exact house and i said i understand it's the specific specifics on my exact house because you have a picture of my house on the top of this like but that's just because your house is in that zone, right? Right, and that's why I said I was like, "But my house is in that zone, and all you gave me was the stuff about the zone, which I told you that I did not want because I already had that information." He's like, "Well, we have to understand like what can happen, you know, in your zone." And I said, "Yeah, but I told you that this is the information I already had. This is the information I need. You didn't tell me anything about the other houses that I told you about that are obviously against this 35 foot. So you literally gave me what I told you I didn't want." <laughs>
And I was like, and then there's one thing, though, that you did say that I don't understand, and maybe you can explain it to me while you're on the phone. I said, why can we only build 10 feet back? Uh, why, only add an addition of 10 feet on our house. Like, that I don't see. You said it in the email body. I said, but it, none of the PDF that you attached mentions that, so I, I'm not understanding where that came from. And he goes, well, yeah, it's because, uh, you know, your setback from the alley has to be at least 20 foot. And I said, we have way more than 10 feet that we can build to still have our setback in the alley be 20 feet long. And he's like, oh, are, are you sure? Like, what's, uh, like, how long is your house, like, in, compared to your neighbors? I said, we are the shortest one in our section. And he's like, well, let me look it up. He pulled it up on Google Maps. <laughs> so look at it on Google Maps while I was talking to him on the phone and he goes oh yeah actually it does look like you have plenty more room than that so I was like what the fuck did you do what, so what did he do I, 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 he got the zoning information the zoning information where did he get this, uh, those other measurements for the back uh, the, the 10 feet he like made it up I have no idea where the <laughs> fuck he came up, up with that because it wasn't even right because we can have way more than 10 feet back there are you cutting that grass over there yeah, I was. Oh, okay. I saw that it was like started. So yeah, you know, I, got, I was. I jumped over to move some people around, and I was like, trying to tab back in. I was like, what's happening? So we actually did. I, uh, I. He was like, well, let me, uh, let me like send some of my guys out there to do some like you actual measurements of the property now, because I knew they weren't coming out to the property like already. It was just about getting the information, but I thought he was going to give me more because I had that conversation with him. So it's like, well, let me like send some guys out to the property, get some more, like more like actual measurements, so we can really see what we're working with. And I said, what are you gonna start charging me for that? And he was <laughs> like, he goes, well, no, 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 I feel like the 250 that you paid is enough that we can at least go out there and get some measurements. And I'm like, okay, fine. Like, if you're, I basically guilted him into coming out and like <laughs> actually taking measurements because they don't want to lose the business for one. But it's just, it's so angering that he literally showed up with the exact same things that I told him that I already had and didn't want from him. So a guy came over today to do some like measurements and to actually like look at the house and like we showed him some of the other houses that are obviously like not conforming. And this guy was actually really knowledgeable. He's done a lot of work in the city and he was like a young guy too. And he was like, oh yeah, we've done this and you know, this and that. And yeah, I can understand exactly what you're talking about with this. And like, these are some options that we have to go with, but this might be a pro like problem to do. So that was really nice. And he's like, I, I said, you know, there's all these other houses around that obviously don't conform to these measurements. I don't understand. He's like, well, is there any close? Like, let's go take a walk and look at one of them. And so we actually walked down the street and looked at one of them. The first thing he said is he goes, I have no idea how that house got permitted. <laughs> like, he's like, this doesn't make sense. I can point out, like, eight different things that this is against code for. He's like, so I'm going to have to, like, look at this property and see, uh, you know, what exactly, you know, they did to get this thing permitted and all. But <laughs> the funny thing is I told him that, you know, I had talked to the other guy. Oh, you left this windrow in the way of this guy to fertilize. Oh, did I put it right in the way? <laughs> Whoops. And I told him that, you know, how frustrated i was with the initial stuff that i got back and he was like he was like oh who was the guy that sent you that and he, he like said a name and i was like yeah that was him and he's like yeah he's a marketing guy <laughs> and i was like well no fucking wonder like it's uh this is like the whole sales thing versus you know what actually can be done and i find right. that really fucked up in business Oops. Yeah. We deal with we deal with that a lot at the hospital when we're like looking for products. Really? We'll end up getting contracts with companies for these products because of what they promise us they can do, and then when it comes down to it, well, they can't get because they don't actually right. understand the product. They're just the salesperson, right? And I don't understand how that doesn't get more like because now we end up getting stuck in these contracts and we have to like jury rig something together to make it work, and it's not ideal and it doesn't work appropriately. We have so many products like that within our hospital system. And I don't understand how there's not some type of, like, regulation on if this is what you were promised. Right. Like, and maybe there is, and the hospital just doesn't pursue it. I, I don't know. I just, I don't get it. I don't know how contractors and, like, marketing people can really live with themselves knowing that they're lying or exaggerating to the extent that they are. I mean, car salesman, right? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess it takes a special breed. Yeah. 
Yeah. Some people don't give a shit. That's just, that's just the bottom line. I they just don't care. How, how does it not come back against them? There's how no is there thing not? As karma. Like, <laughs> Karma's a lie. I mean, it's almost kind of like politics. If you uh, can't keep up with your campaign promises, <laughs> why can we not just oust you from office for not keeping up with campaign promises? And sometimes it's not even that person's fault, too, right? Like, you, like I honestly believe that George Bush Sr. truly meant whenever he said no new taxes, he, he, he thought that there was going to be no new taxes. And then he got in office and realized that, well, just because I said there would be no new tax doesn't mean everyone's going to, like, fall in line. Right. right, but it's almost it's almost sad that you can actually campaign on promises that you don't necessarily have control over. But I guess you can campaign on whatever the I fuck I mean, yeah, you, you can say what the fuck you want. I mean, look at... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be interesting just to see somebody who, like goes up on campaign trail and he's just like you know what I'm gonna everybody's salary is gonna be a million dollars right I mean I but wonder it, if there was ever a chicken in every pot <laughs> I mean there might have been chicken in every pot uh, every pot in that little area that he conducted the study of how many chickens are in the pot <laughs> I mean you can skew statistics to be however you want it to be God, what, what did we um, oh god what was it called I just had a, a class I took today for like a leadership class, and it was a really interesting thing that I didn't actually know how to name. Um, it was some type of some type of bias, and it's basically showing that if you say something is true, and ninety nine people in the room say that you're full of shit and you're wrong, and one guy says yes, and all you take away from that is like this guy said yes, it's true, therefore it's been affirmed. That's oh, it's affirmation bias. Oh, I believe tough. it is. It's affirmation or confirmation bias? It might be confirmation bias. You're right. It might be confirmation bias. But it's just like an interesting concept that like it's so true on so many levels that so many people utilize confirmation bias. And it's just it's so inaccurate. Well, I mean, that's just kind of like people follow the news source that most in, most agrees with them, regardless of yeah. how much <laughs> what they're reading is actually true. That was actually an NPR story the other day about that exact thing. Really? About people following, that, like, people being more prone to watch, like, if you're, you know, Democratic, you're going to watch more, um, like, MSNBC or whatever. And if you're a Republican, you're going to watch more, you know. Fox. Uh, well, what'd you say? Fox. Yeah, yeah, more Fox. I thought you said something else, so I was like, what? Um, and that you actually end up not getting a lot of news that you actually need and not understanding the full picture because you literally just surround yourself with the things that agree with you right and how actually harmful that has been to society in the recent years it's true that's one of those things that basically if you're a republican you should watch msnbc and if you're a democrat you should watch fox news just to see the other side I'll tell you, man, the, one of the pizza places we go to has Fox News on all the time. And uh, every time I'm there, I watch it and I'm just like kind of blown away by what I'm seeing and hearing. <laughs> just goes, I don't know. Just goes against everything else that I've, I've ever, I don't know. Well, what is, what is CNN? CNN's a mess. <laughs> but wasn't CNN mainly like Republican sided? They lean right. They they try to be middle, but they they well they always have le leaned right. But now I don't even know. CNN is just like they just want people to watch and whatever it takes to get people to watch. That's what they're even if be it doing. involves them boxing Trump. Uh, they boxed Trump. What? No, that that was the whole thing when uh, Trump went after CNN. Uh, oh right, that the, guy the, the like, gift of the wrestling you know, gift. Yeah, the whole wrestling gift. Oh man. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a big fan of CNN. Yeah, I'm going to start just watching, like, like Fox News a lot, just because I want to hear the stuff that's said. And that's kind of like, it. it's weird. Any political satire, you know, like Daily Show, Stephen Colbert, all that stuff is very Democratic-sided. Yeah. And I'm surprised. I think that's just because they're more apt to be able to take a joke in some uh, about some of these things. Yeah, potentially, but I'm surprised there's no, like, Republican-sided popular comedic satire. 
I mean, that's what Colbert Show kind of was, right? Republican? Absolutely not. I mean, not that I... I don't think. I mean, he was supposed to be a hardcore Republican. Colbert? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I watch his show. I completely see him as a pure Democrat. Oh, he is. He is. But the Colbert Report was supposed to be basically him pretending to be the hardest Republican that there, there could oh, be. Oh, but, but, but I mean, still, it's uh, it's very satirical from a Democratic standpoint. Oh, so. sure. But a lot of people it's, didn't realize that. I actually didn't realize that he was supposed to be taking that from a, like, hardcore Republican stance. Like, I didn't know that either. Because maybe it's because I knew him on The Daily Show before that, so I never, like, made the connection. Because The Daily Show is obviously Democratic. I think even on The Daily Show, though, that was his persona, wasn't it? I don't actually know for sure what that is. I thought he had the same persona, though, and just carried over and got his own show. I mean, he might have. I don't know, maybe, or maybe it's too that I just knew that he was joking about everything he says when he pretends to be agreeing <laughs> with the Republican side, or Republican, Republican side, that I didn't even, like, make that connection, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but the Republicans should get more of their own satire. There probably is. I mean, <laughs> what's Infowars? Oh God, I, is it? But that's not satire, is it? I don't know what that is. He said it was whenever he was in the custody battle. Really? I was gonna say because isn't he completely like the conspiracy theory guy? Yeah, he's the gay frog guy. Uh, yeah, just recently he had a custody battle. He basically said I that. I don't know about gay frogs. Oh yeah, the chemtrails are causing our frogs to be gay. Hmm. Um, what happens when frogs are gay? It's just proof that uh, the chemtrails are also making us gay. Oh. Like there's there's homosexual I, frogs I, and, I, and there I, weren't homosexual frogs before the chemtrails. I definitely see the connection. Oh my god! There. So in in October there is the flat Earth the first ever flat Earth convention and you know where it's going to be at? Is it in D.C.? No, it's in Raleigh, but it's already sold out. Oh, it's. <laughs> I was so already, upset. It's already sold out. It's sold out. What are they selling for on eBay? You think we can get media passes? No, I don't think we qualify. I was so sad. I emailed the press. They didn't respond. I was like, I live here in, in Raleigh, and I'll, I'll cover it on YouTube. I didn't get any response. <laughs> it's sold out? Sold out. Now, do you think it's sold out to a bunch of people because they think it's funny? I mean, that's what I was going to buy tickets for. I, I, I understand that. They have a whole yeah. list of exhibitors and stuff. Like, I'm, I'm really sad that I can't go. We're going to find a way to go to that thing. It's in October? Yeah. When in October? I don't remember exactly. I'll have to look again. I think it's October. I'm almost positive. That's definitely sold out. I want to go to a panel. I, I want to I want to attend the whole thing like I want I want to oh man I, w I would be so happy there can you can you request a panel for us oh well, no we can't present a panel why what would we be like the round earthers God, we could... I, no 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 just uh, make it like a title that has nothing to do with the flat earth thing and just throw them off <laughs> gonna be like, this panel must be good now it literally be like um, agriculture, uh, agriculture in a changing world. <laughs> uh, we'll just play farming simulator the whole time. Just have a Minecraft panel. <laughs> I wonder what they're going to talk about at this convention. It's like three days. I mean, how are all the people going to get here from from the places of I mean the they Earth believe that. in planes <laughs> <laughs> what about the people who live on the bottom side of the earth there's no such thing but well, what's underneath the earth in the flat earth theory I don't know about that like, but there's not people the... you think it's like earth trolls <laughs> no well, I don't actually know I don't I don't know what I don't know what happens on the other side of the earth I mean, it's got to be something right I mean, at least mold or something has to be. I don't know. I really don't know. I wonder. Uh, that's a good question. I don't, I don't know what they believe happens. You mean what we believe, dude? <laughs> God, they get the persona out there if we're going to get these tickets. 
there is online like you can buy like tickets to the stream but that's not good well you had to buy tickets to the stream yeah it's 17 dollars for streaming tickets for all day all weekend they're all weekend i'm gonna go and see if there's scalpers to be honest with you i mean you can probably just look on ebay and see if they're i i didn't even think about that i should do that i couldn't believe they, they were sold do out know, do you know neither can i that's why i'm wondering about my no it didn't actually say who, like it didn't say what the tickets were before they were sold out I mean, or how many there were. Like, I don't know how many people are even going to attend this thing. It might only have been like 10 days for all I know. How ridiculous is that that they can sell out a convention like that and then still sell streaming tickets for $17? Yeah. Like, they got some type of, type of good racket going on. I could, I sat there for a while considering buying a streaming ticket. I mean, you probably still can, though, right? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, not... yeah. I mean, that, that can't be limited, right? I, I wouldn't think so, but I mean, if it's such an elite club, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe it is. We should have a, like a, a viewing party. <laughs> get like a projector and a big movie screen, like outside your house. Get a bunch of people. We'll come over and chip in, like <laughs> you know, a couple bucks a piece. You can even make money off of the flat earthers. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. Flat Earth party. And you can sell like globes that you ran over with the tractor. <laughs> just put just put a bunch of globes where your uh, bricks used to be. Oh, we could have like a, it'd be like a whole pancake party. Like I was gonna say we'd grill out <laughs> first, but <laughs> so you could get like the blue syrup, and yeah, the green syrup, yeah. <laughs> Earth's for everybody. You want syrup on your earth? Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you need a blue butter. Just uh, dye your butter blue and then have a uh, green syrup. So you can just like <laughs> butter the whole thing and then spread out. That would be amazing. Pancake party. <laughs> so like an edible globe of the earth. <laughs> like that's... I guess they wouldn't call it a globe. What do they call it? Just a... I don't know. An, an earth plate <laughs> just an earth <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know it's just called an earth <laughs> jeff you moron it's called an earth <laughs> so do those people believe in um other planets yeah but there's it's something weird you have to look it up because like the moon like the sun is like a uh, this might be different people actually that think the sun's a light bulb never mind <laughs> That would just be taking it a step too far. Because where is it plugged in at? I don't know. <laughs> but, like, the moon is, like, is made of something special. Like, cheese? I don't I don't believe that it's cheese. It might actually be, which would make it even more absurd. <laughs> I want to, I hope Trump gets introduced to the flat earth and then starts to believe it and starts tweeting about it. Man, I can't wait till we have our first Scientologist president. Uh, I mean, Scientology, isn't Scientology kind of falling out of favor, though? Is it? I mean, I you just haven't heard about it in a while. I think there's better things to talk about, really. <laughs> like Trump. Yeah, yeah, exactly. People got better drama now than than Scientology. Like, it's kind of like what's the craziest thing in the room? And right now, it's not Scientology. <laughs> the, the, the big fight: Scientology versus the flat earthers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's more people probably talking about Flat Earthers than there are Scientology right now because it's the new, like... It's the new Scientology. <laughs> yeah, the new level of ignorance, really. Oh, did you... There was a an article on this guy who was trying to see how easily he could get things into scientific publication. And he, he basically took a Wikipedia article on mitochondria and then replaced the uh, chondria part with chlorine, so it was all about midichlorians from Star Wars, <laughs> and then he added some ridiculous Star Wars-like references talking about how the midichlorian has, you know, been linked to the Force and all this stuff, and he he put it out there to, like, 18 different scientific journals for publication, and I guess, like, nine of them published it. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it was, like, some ridiculous number of journals that published it. Couple asked him to rewrite a couple things, and only a couple like obviously caught on to it and just either denied it, or I guess one group like joked around about how he he forgot to include references and he like listed all like the Star Wars movies and like because they obviously knew it was like 
big joke. Right. But uh, um, he showed like the articles that it was actually published in, um, and there was links to some of them still up, even though some of them have redacted it ever since he came out and stated that, like, basically... They were idiots. You know, <laughs> yeah. And well, he said, too, like, that he didn't even... I think one of the worst things is not only was it obviously, like, ridiculously off base and not scientific but it was mainly copied from wikipedia and then changed just enough so it wouldn't get caught in like an automated you know uh yeah um uh filter but like clearly nobody was proofreading these things that's just so absurd i guess someone's job somewhere to do that proofreading and they just probably just have to do a shit job yeah, I mean, they probably just look at it, and if it sounds cool and scientific, they just accept it, even if it's full of, like, completely incorrect facts. And well, it's kind of like your whole cells versus engineer thing. It's like, whoever's doing this is probably, like, not a scientist. <laughs> yeah, that's most likely true. It's probably, like, a college kid who's, like, their, it's their internship or their research study or whatever. That would be more, uh. more likely. I should put something like that out there and then put that one professor of mine's name on it. <laughs> third author. Uh, you should. That'd be quite comical, actually. Have you been selling these things as I've been making them? Yeah. We don't have that much money from this run. No, it's because it the, wasn't a double, double run. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. It was only a single... go sell this one individually since it's all I got. Yeah, that was way less money, though. We didn't sell any of the crops. But, yeah, it is significantly less money whenever uh, whenever you don't do the double. It's like half, I mean, it's half as <laughs> it's half as much money, right? <laughs> it's, about a, it's about a half as good. Uh. <laughs> I wonder if we can actually do anything with this straw. There's a bunch of straw in here that I'm running over. It's actually changing shape. Is this legit straw? Or hay that we could take out of here? Is it? Is that shit piled up in there? Is oh, it? yeah. It, it does look like it just went into my... Really? Hey, hold on. I'm going to run back through here. Let's clean up this damn barn. Can we store stuff in that barn? No, because it just sells it. The moment we bring it in there. I guess it's not picking this up, so maybe. <laughs> oh, it's it's hard to get. It might just be a little bit of grass that was still like in here. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be picking any of it up. So maybe not. Oops. I don't think oh, this was even a fertilizer. My ba my baler was. Oh off. yeah, no, you fertilized it. Yeah. I did what? I was about to say, I don't think the field was even fertilized before this was cut, but I think you did fertilize it. Yeah, you did, because yeah, yeah, that I, guy I got stuck. That's that right. field. Hold on. Okay, I got to turn the baler on, then we can find out if this is actually, like... No, it doesn't seem to be anything I can actually pick up. Yeah, it didn't change at all. Are all these fields like harvested yep. already? Pre planted? Yep. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty quick now to do that run with the extra harvester and all. Yeah, yeah. Um Honestly the slow part is planting down here. Like uh I'm still planting uh sunflowers and I have to plant corn. So I haven't actually planted the corn yet. Oh, yeah, because we only have the one planter for that stuff. Yeah. And then... Oh, and it's all fertilized already, too, except for yep. field 19. Yep. I guess we should leave it off here. We can uh, let it all grow in between episodes. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.